All right, so we're gonna do the rack position, uh, or sorry, the deadlift from the pins with a barbell. So um, the, the great thing about doing this with the pins is it picks the bar up a little bit off the ground. Now where a lot of people sometimes can have issues with deadlifting is they don't actually have the range of motion to do so. Pulling it from the ground can increase that risk of injury. And again, our number one goal when we're training general pop or anyone is to first do not harm them. So this allows them to get most of the benefits, pretty much all the benefits of a regular deadlift for what they need in their daily lives, just keeping them a little bit safer. So that's why we're not doing it from the ground. Um, not that the ground is bad, it just doesn't work as well for general pop people uh, and their safety. So we're gonna start up here on the pins. Now from here, we're gonna go hip width apart um, and making sure that bar is in contact. Okay, from here, we're going through the regular deadlifts form. Okay, so soft knees, think butt to the wall behind you, and chest forward. So soft knees, butt to the wall behind you, chest forward, great. From here, I'm gonna lock my glutes, and I'm gonna ride that bar right up until I'm locked out, squeezing my butt at the top, keeping a neutral neck throughout the entire movement. Inhale down, squeeze the glutes, exhale up. Now, if you need to modify this, um, typically you're gonna need to modify this for somebody who has trouble keeping that back straight who tends to live in that uh, you know, forward shoulder or rounded shoulder posture. Um, so <clears throat> what I recommend to do, bring to a, a kettlebell deadlift. It's gonna be a little less loaded. Um, although sometimes I find issues with that because now their hands are a little bit closer, which kind of naturally puts their shoulders forward. Um, so if that doesn't help, you could do two lighter kettlebells here. Um, so you do two of them and your kettlebell deadlift, or if they're still having issues with that, then simply take them through uh, kind of like a PVC pipe, uh, you know, like self coaching drill. So basically you're just giving them some of that biofeedback. So having the hand behind the head, the other hand uh, right on the tailbone, and then teach them that hinging pattern. Tell them, you know, if that hand on the bottom comes up, you know you're rounding your back. That often will teach people how to do that. Another thing I've noticed for people um, is they get, it's not that they don't get the back straight thing, it's that they, they don't like, they just feel weird about sticking their butt out. So sometimes you're saying like, hey, you gotta stick your butt out, um, that makes a big difference as well. So that's a good cue, but that's how you do a barbell uh, deadlift from the pins.